The Titans. Phoebe. One of the original 12 Titans of Greek mythology, Phoebe was the daughter of the primordial deities Gaia and Uranus. She married her brother Chris, and together they had two daughters, Asteria and Leto. Through Leto, Phoebe was the grandmother of Apollo and Artemis, powerful gods of the Olympian pantheon. The name Phoebe was derived from the ancient Greek adjective Phobos, meaning bright or shining. This name was also applied to Phoebe's grandson Apollo, who was commonly referred to as Apollo. Phoebus, or shining Apollo, however, the ultimate etymology of the Greek Phobos, and thus also of Phoebe's name, remains uncertain. In the Theogony, Hesiod refers to Phoebe with the epithet Chrysostophanos, meaning golden crown. Phoebe's precise attributes remain unclear, but her name the Bright One suggests some association with light. She was also connected with oracles, both through her grandson Apollo, as well as in her own right. The daughter of Gaia, mother of the earth, and Uranus, father of the heavens, Phoebe was part of a brood of titans that included Kurs, Cryas, Hyperion, Rhea, Oceanus, Iapetus, Thea, Themis, Nimosine, Tethys, and Cronus. Phoebe's other siblings were the one-eyed monsters known as the Cyclops and the Hecatonchise, horrible creatures said to have a hundred hands each. Like many titans, Phoebe seldom appeared in Greek texts. Her role in the Titanomachy and its aftermath, for example, is unsung and unknown. Hesiod's Theogony, the most complete source for Greek myth on the origins of the cosmos, mentions her only twice. She first appears in the list of the children of Gaia and Uranus. Her second appearance comes soon after, when Hesiod describes her marriage to her brother Chorus, which went as follows. Again, Phoebe came to the desired embrace of Kurs. Then the goddess through the love of the god conceived and brought forth dark-gowned Leto, always mild, kind to men and to the deathless gods, mild from the beginning, gentlest in all Olympus. Also she bare hysteria of happy name, whom Perseus once led to his great house to be called his dear wife. This fresco, recovered from a wall in Herculaneum, depicts Phoebe on the right attempting to console her daughter Leto. The work is attributed to Alexander of Athens, an artist who remains shrouded in mystery and is held in the National Archaeological Museum, Naples, Italy. Phoebe's sparse mythos overlaps with that of her more important grandson, Apollo. In some traditions, Phoebe was the third guardian of the oracle at Delphi after her mother Caia and her sister Themis, and it was Phoebe who presented Delphi to Apollo as a birthday gift. Subsequently, Apollo added his grandmother's name to his own, becoming Apollo Phoebus. Phoebe's influence continues to resonate in popular culture thanks to the many people both real and fictional named after her. Commonly used in Greek and Latin, her name has remained popular in languages descended from them. Phoebe's name appears on the southeast corner of the Pergamon altar which depicts the Gigantomachy fighting against a giant with animal features, similar to the one her daughter Leto is fighting. Phoebe, wearing a diadem and a very creased dress, is seen wielding a flaming torch and fighting next to her other daughter Asteria. Phoebe, one of the moons of Saturn is named after this goddess, as sister of Cronus, Saturn's Greek equivalent. Phoebe also spelled Phoebe is also a popular feminine given name in the English speaking world. Thanks for watching. Smithology. Please remember to like, share and subscribe and hit that notification bell for upcoming videos.